All right, we're gonna switch back to time lapse probably again pretty soon here, but I just um, wiped out in the snow over there, which is making me think that it might be better time spent for me rather than pulling up all of the old plastic, just piling on with the with the wood chips and for getting that old plastics in there because I need something grippier than boxes. Holy crap, I probably just like strained my knee, but that's probably the worst of it. I ended up like kneeling, but how to beat up a tree for no good reason is probably gonna be the title of this. There is so much more top than bottom because that's all I could get out. That it's, uh, it's not good. I probably need to cut off the whole Y top thingamajiggy and let it start over so it's a little better, um, balanced, you know? That, of course, wasn't my original plan. If you end up looking at the one from earlier today, I did find slugs and beetles and all kinds of stuff down in the root structure, which probably has at least something to do with how this plant's been doing. But I think cutting right here is gonna be the only way this plant's gonna survive. And then I'm gonna put it back on fast speed. And you're gonna watch me carry dirt from the hole I just dug over here. There we go. Because this tree with the branches pointed in the direction of the shade is gonna be right here. All right, so let's, um, whoa, it's falling towards us, haha. -ha. Let's switch back to super speed.
All right, well, last bit here. Hopefully I can find some good music in the lengths of time needed. Um, so if I get a good enough angle, you might be able to tell that some little feeder roots are above ground right now. And what I'm planning on doing is mulching in those little feeder roots with that big bucket of mulch that you just saw me get. Pretty a long way around. I'm going to try not to fall over here again. Jeez. Very slickery. I don't like this part. It's too slick. All right. So, mm. this should be mostly maple, but, um, you know, no promises on that. And we'll see if we need more, but this looks like it should be enough to get the part of the tree that's been underground all this time back underground. This is going to be one very, very, very well watered tree just because of how I've leveled this area off. All water is going to get shunted through here. I am going to need to add some mycelium in here, I think. I really want to. And it's free, freely available right now, too. Okay, well, I'm coming in from an angle that I can't actually get to you from with the wagon there. <clears throat> Back that up. Okay. That's not snow. That's wine cap mycelium from between the uh, Saskatoons over there that have never fruited. So I'm going to put that way down there. And this should be in enough shade. And... Um, damp enough. You can see there are at least a few bits of pine in here, but I think it, it should be mostly maple from the area I took it from in the pile. <sighs> so, I could actually run the hose from the rain barrel over to here without any trouble, and I think I might do that. Oh, I'm going to sit on the wagon. Holy cow. So, am I completely exhausted? Heck yes. Was that about two hours worth of work? In 50 degrees, 10C, 50F. Yeah. Oh, is my lower back more than a bit sore? <laughs> yeah. Oh, well. Um... Sometimes it's worth it. I do hope that this tree, which is now dwarfed, will make it. And you can see it's actually not taller than the asparagus at the moment. Now I have jumbo asparagus. This is the passion purple and it's being squished by the snow. Um, so would I recommend doing this to a tree? Not particularly. Uh, but it was in the process of dying, so if I've sped that along, alas, what can you do? I sure tried. I probably will adjust that cut so that it's an angle instead of a... Eh, it's somewhat angled. It's not angled enough, though. The stump at the top of what is going to be apparently a pollard if it all lives. <sighs> I don't know, friends. We shall see if my tree, this is a pear, lives through this transplant or not. We shall see. 
Ideally, I think I'd like to bring some ostrich ferns over here too, but I still only have just three of those underneath the um, elderberry. Might be worth getting some more, but I think they'd do great over here. Mushrooms, asparagus, pear tree, got everything except a nitrogen fixer in here, which um, I have very nitrogen risk rich compost coming up because the quail, um, I think I just heard a quail lay an egg as I said that. Um, they make this sound that kind of sounds like they're in pain, poor things. <sighs> Yeah. So that's what we got. 